Hey everyone, it's Bonnie. Happy Saturday. I've got an epic Bath and Body Works video collection for you guys today. I have taken out my entire Ultra Shea Cream body collection. There are no dupes here. I'm going to go over all the scents. I wanted to sort everything by type and season. I kind of did that before, but everything got messed up. So I wanted to kind of reorganize a little bit. So I'm going to go over all of these scents and then I'm going to put everything back into my bins. I have three of those white bins over there and everything fits really neatly in there. So far, no Mother's Day Bath and Body Works tote today. So I was motivated to do this collection. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start at the beginning. If there are any scents that you would like me to review, please do let me know. So I'm gonna start with, this is the newest collection from Bath & Body Works. This is that, um, I think it's called the Bold Blooms, which is fresh cut, fresh cut lilacs, whipped vanilla chiffon, black cherry merlot repackaged, and the champagne toast, which is a little bit different um, than the Christmas one. And then we've got the coconut collection, coconut, pineapple, Coconut hibiscus and coconut palm. My favorite, of course, is the coconut pineapple. Next up, we have got the collection of all collections. The confetti cake pop, strawberry pound cake, and margarita cupcake. Of course, I have dupes of those, but I only have one set out here. I think strawberry pound cake is my favorite of this entire collection. Next up, we have got the daydream collection these were four scents that came out a little bit before um the strawberry pound cake collection this is daydream dream in the sky soak in the sun and dance in the rain the only one i didn't like was the dance in the rain it was a little bit too fresh and linen for me next up we have the entire tropical collection for this year we have got the Waikiki Beach Coconut. Uh, we've got the Fiji Sunshine Guavatini. Bora Bora Citrus Surf, which smells like Skittles. The Bahamas Passion Fruit uh, Banana Flower, which actually came back from last year. The brand new Tiki Bay Island Margarita. And the Bally Black Coconut Sands, which came back from last year and then i have last year's collection which consisted of the um the havana which was the tropical vanilla and cherimoya tahiti pink lily and bamboo and then we had the bahamas passion fruit which was the dupe the black coconut sands which is the dupe and the um the waikiki beach coconut which was the dupe so going on to the next row black amethyst i did not like that one at all that came out for semi-annual sale it's just too um that had a lot of florals in it that was peony petals uh sweet sandalwood you know what the only one i don't have i don't have a full-size cream yet of the um perfect peony but that should be in my collection coming soon um Black Raspberry Vanilla, which of course I really like. I've got this collection, which is actually um, an older collection. This is the Wild Rose and Apple Body Cream with the Steam Distilled Natural Rose Oil. Then we have Chamomile and Honey and Pink Magnolia. Next up is the, this is like the Paris collection or travel collection. I don't know. This is Bonjour Paris La Fleur and Champagne Rose. I really like those. Those are an older set. And then we have the Sweet Almond and Honey and the Blackberry and the Black Cherry Merlot. I'm sorry, for some reason, I cannot find my Wild Blueberry. I, but there was a Wild Blueberry in this collection. We have got Saltwater Breeze. Look at these. So um, these are some semi-annual sales. First, we got Saltwater Breeze, which came out this year. But then look at these three. Um, Sunshine Days, Get Happy, and Live Fresh. Those are semi-annual sale picks that, um, I just, uh, I think I got those last summer. I have an old aqua marine in my collection. We have Hello Beautiful, Night Blooming Jasmine, and Fresh Gardenia, which, you know, I'm not super crazy about the floral scents. That's my mother's, the Fresh Gardenia. 
And then we have the Pink Lily in Bamboo from the year before, um, I think that was 2018, and the Fresh uh, Sea Salt Mango, which is really good. And then we have this other collection here, which is really pretty. This came out last summer, I believe. This is the Almond Blossom, Cactus Blossom, and Desert Wildflower. My favorite, of course, is the Almond Blossom. Then I have a rose in my collection because, you know, I had to add a rose, even though I'm not a rosy person, just to have one. Next up is Gingham. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm going to move these over a little bit because I'm trying to um, film this. It's really hard to film all of these. <laughs> okay, Gingham is of course a classic scent for Bath and Body Works. And then I've got In the Stars. You know which one I'm missing, you guys? For some reason, I cannot find my Into the Night. I may have given that one to my mother-in-law. I need to get that one in my collection. Um, I have Thousand Wishes in the new packaging. I have a Moonlit Path that my mother uses. I have the Cashmere Glow. Lavender, French Lavender and Honey. I just reviewed this one. I wasn't crazy about this one. Um, Dark Kiss, which is definitely a favorite of mine from like the Halloween. I don't know. It's not a Halloween scent, but to me it is. I actually put that in my Halloween collection. I have got Cherry Blossom. Mad About You, Pink Chiffon, I don't know, these kind of remind me of a little bit of a set. Um, I've got Forever Red, which I really love. Velvet Sugar, one of my favorites is definitely Velvet Sugar. And then we have the Wild Madagascar Vanilla, absolutely love that scent. Cucumber Melon, eh, I'm okay on Cucumber Melon, you know me and Cucumber. Pearberry, which is really good. Butterfly Flower. I've got a Mango Mandarin, which I'm going to put in my Use It Up section, and the Sun Ripened Raspberry. Those are really good for summer. I also have the White Citrus, Brown Sugar and Fig, and Warm Vanilla Sugar, along with Sea Island Cotton, the, I think that's the older Japanese cherry blossom and the lavender and sandal. Switch positions here. It is so hard to film all of these. So now we're moving into fall. This was from fall of 2018. We had the bright autumn blooms, whipped vanilla spice, crisp orchid leaves, champagne, apple, and honey, and the sugared cranberry cider. I wouldn't mind seeing the whipped vanilla spice, of course, back and the cra uh, sugared cranberry cider, which are both, um, I love sugared cranberry cider and that came back this year, of course. Um, so this is actually this year's. So we've got the sugared cranberry cider, the wild blackberry and vanilla, which was not one of my favorites. I wouldn't mind if they took that one out and replaced it with something else. Toasted Praline and Pear, which I love, Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin, Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte, and Champagne Apple and Honey. So that was the fall lineup for this past year. And then, of course, um, they brought this scent out in two thousand. These scents out in two thousand eighteen. Autumn Nights Bonfire Bash Pumpkin Picking, which we need back this year, and Sweater Weather. And then this past fall. They brought them back. They brought back Sweater Weather and then Autumn Nights, which I don't have. And then I do have the Bonfire Bash. And then they also brought back um, the Snowflakes and Cashmere. And then we had Winterberry Wonder, Pink Velvet Cupcake, and Frosted Holly. Um, Frosted Holly is really unique. I'm not sure they're going to bring that back this year. That was kind of a weird test fragrance, I think. Um, I would not be surprised to see Pink Velvet Cupcake back this year, though. So then we move into kind of the New Year's sparkly fragrances for the holidays. We had Champagne Toast in the Bubbly Pink Bottle, the Repackaged Black Cherry Merlot, Twinkling Nights, which I love, Fresh Sparkling Snow, and Little Black Party Dress. And then... Oh my gosh, so this is actually going backwards a little bit Christmas. I have a pink mango spritzer from one of the semi-annual sales a couple of years ago. And then, oh my gosh, I still have one of the Marshmallow Magic, which I'm pretty happy about. And then we have Cocktail Dress, which I think is kind of a cousin to the Little Black Party Dress. 
I have a Sparkling Nights. I love this packaging, you guys. Isn't this pretty in Sparkling Nights? Magic in the Air to me is a Christmas scent, as is Be Enchanted. Be Enchanted could be Halloween, Christmas. I love this one in the fall. Then we had the Ginger bread latte that they brought back last year as a retired set. Now we're moving into the Land of Sweets. So Land of Sweets consisted of Bright Lemon Snowdrop, Santa's Blueberry Shortbread, Hot Cocoa and Cream, Winter Candy Apple, and Christmas Cookies. Now I need more Bright Lemon Snowdrop. <laughs> I definitely, um, didn't stack up on that one as much as I should have. Um, I also would like to see the Santa's Blueberry Shortbread and the Christmas Cookies come back. I would like to see two new scents replace Hot Cocoa and Cream and Winter Candy Apple in this packaging. I mean, they can bring these back in the holiday traditions, but I would like to, if they bring back Land of Sweets, I would like to see two new ones. Um, holiday traditions this year consisted of the Christmas coconut, uh, Christmas cocoa and mint, which smells exactly like the Girl Scout cookie thin mints. One of my favorites that came out later though. Um, the classic ones for holiday traditions this year were twisted peppermint, Merry cherry cheer, minus the amaretto, winter candy apple, raspberry sugar, which was new, vanilla bean Noel, Frosted Coconut Snowball, and the very coveted Snowy Citrus Swirl that everyone loved so much. Um, this had the uh, chilled tangerine and marshmallow in it. I'm hoping they bring that back. Then I have the 2018 collection. I have the Twisted Peppermint, Cat Cocoa and Cream, Vanilla Bean Noel, Spiced Gingerbread Swirl, which I would love to see back, and the Merry Cherry Cheer with the Amaretto, which I actually like a lot better. And then I have some SAS uh, favorites here, the Capri Coastal Citrus, Mediterranean Blue Waters, I have a Happy Vibes, I have the Seatox, which I just reviewed. Then I have this collection. This was the Clementine and Mint Leaves, Wild Strawberry, which is nothing like Strawberry Pound Cake. This one is amazing. Um, I mean, the, the Strawberry Pound Cake is amazing. This one is okay. I, I, I like it, but I like the Strawberry Pound Cake better. Um, and then we have the Apple Blossom, which isn't too bad. Um, I finally found my On the Waves. Remember the other day at the Beach Collection? I found my On the Waves. And then we have At the Beach, Honolulu Sun, which was nice. Oahu Coconut Sunset. Beach Water Coconut. That's a little bit older. And then we had this set. So we had the Pink Coconut Calypso, Papaya Paradise Cove, and Underwater Oasis. All of these are really good. I think the papaya one was my favorite. This had Honeysuckle, Amber, Starfruit Water. I really liked this one. And then Pink uh, Coconut Calypso was a second. And then do you guys remember these that just came out with um, some annual sale? It's the Violet, Leaf, and Blackberry. And then we had the Raspberry and Pink Lily. And then they just re-released Blackberry and Basil. I should review these because they're available now. Um, Wild Strawberry Leaf I don't think is out, but Fresh Gardenia is one of the ones that they released. And then we have this um, other kind of semi-annual sale collection. The, this was the uh, Sweet Magnolia and Clementine, Georgia Peach and Sweet Tea, which is really amazing. I love this one. And then we have the Bourbon, Strawberry, and Vanilla. And then they just redid the Watermelon Lemonade. They just repackaged it. And um, this is a really nice one. So um, I love that they're doing the repackaging and stuff. So that is all 144 of my ultra shea body creams um like i said these are all going back in my bin when i'm done with this video i'm gonna i think it takes up about three bins but i'm gonna try and sort them a little bit better and i'm probably gonna pick some that i'm gonna use um kind of like a shop my stash kind of thing so anyway i hope you enjoyed this little fun saturday video of my collection it was really fun bringing all of these out and showing you these. I'm actually excited for Christmas this year and fall um, to see what we get. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I will be back soon. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button because I got more coming. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.